This Chinese influencer used to have almost 40 million followers across multiple platforms in China, but now she has zero. And this is all due to a poor decision that she recently made. She fabricated a sensational story. And when that video went viral, instead of clearing the air, saying she created this for the content purposes, she followed up with a sequel video consolidating her points and then made this whole thing look even more real. And so this was her original video, and this was her apologizing video after the cat got out of the bag. China has always been trying to tackle down the fake news and the online rumors, but a lot of the times people were masked behind the keyboards and very difficult to hold responsible for what they did or said or spread. Misinformations were created on the internet and spread it like a viral. Now, this blogger has a large following. She should be responsible for what she said, and she should be truthful about the information or content. She, of course, could make up stories or act out funny things, but she should always put a disclaimer saying this is fake. But in this scenario, she didn't do that. She made it look like a social news. So when interviewing the authorities, the police are saying fake news will confuse the public. And that's not a positive thing that they wanted to see in the society.